Hey guys, Holen here, HBOM Fitness. Today I want to talk to you about fascial restrictions or the fascia of the muscle. So, um, you know, I've been talking a lot about muscular and joint um, issues, but um, there's another component of the body that we have to take into account, and that is the fascia. So what fascia is, is it's a type of fiber, collagen, that surrounds a muscle. I like to think of it as um, saran wrap, you know, <laughs> if you did like saran wrap around a piece of raw steak or something. So we can, if we can affect the fascia or the saran, saran wrap of the muscle, we can actually cause change. So if you think of saran wrap as, you know, if it's on a piece of steak being really tight and really started to clunk up, um, that wouldn't be as effective if the saran wrap was just in an even flat um, surface. Um, so it's a little it's a little tricky to think about and what it would do to a muscle. But the main point is if we can clean up that fascia, because um, basically what happens is there becomes adhesions in the muscle, and that fascia starts to restrict and grab onto that muscle, so that muscle can't contract, relax, lengthen, and um, as effectively. So the fascia, if we can, um, you know, loosen that, not, not necessarily loosen up, but um, make the sliding surfaces better between the muscle and the fascia, then we can increase mobility. So this is something I came up with that you're gonna try out. So this is a roll of sandpaper, okay? Uh, I'm not sure on the grain, the the grain of the sandpaper. I just found it in my garage and thought I could try this out. So I just put this on a barbell, and this would be for our normal um, ankle uh, mobility exercise. So, but instead of using the grip on the barbell, you're going to take this, um, and you're going to wind up the uh, sandpaper and you're going to basically wind up the barbell with the sandpaper on it and basically it's doing the same thing as if you did it with the grip on the barbell but this is way way grippier so um, yeah it's pretty intense but it definitely feels feels good so once again you wind it up okay um, Wind it up, and then basically, as Kelly Starrett calls it, tack and floss. And for this, we're not necessarily trying to th think about, oh, I need to loosen my calf. Because this is a good way to loosen up your calf. I, I prefer it. However, um, you know, there are some other ways. So, But we're not really trying to focus on the musculature of the posterior side of the knee or the leg. We're trying to think of the fascia. So the fascia grabs onto those muscle, that muscle, and basically kind of dictates where it is in space and time. Um, so, so we're gonna uh, wind it up, wind it up, and then pull through. And basically, you can do this all the way down, okay? And you want to try and do it till you can get into some dorsiflexion that's you know your maximum and at the closer you get to the bottom um, you know the more restriction we tend to get because that really turns into the Achilles tendon and then basically the last thing you can kind of do here let me get this camera set up is you can basically just take this off Okay, take this off, and like we did with a lacrosse, lacrosse ball, you can go on your posterior tibialis tendon, okay, basically like the ball, you just wind it up. So this is more of a global um, attack on the tissues, opposed to kind of more finite with the lacrosse ball, but it's the same concept, you just find an area and you wind it up okay 
and just take up the slot. Same thing with kind of the lateral side. Just wind it up. And be kind of cautious. If you do this really hard, you can kind of not tear the skin, but you know, you get that white kind of chalky marks on your skin. Um, so just be gentle, but just really focus on the technique of just peeling and trying to create circles. And think about grabbing all of it, okay? But mainly focus on the posterior side, um, where your Achilles is, um, and your posterior tibialis. Okay, guys? So, there you go.